If you've been wanting to sell Notion templates, this is a video for you. We're gonna talk all about how to create a Notion template, how to sell it, where to post and promote it, and all the steps in between. So I'm really excited. My name is Jenna Redfield. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I talk about all things ADHD, Notion, and marketing here on the channel and make sure to subscribe for more videos. So let's just get started. So I've been selling Notion templates now for, I'm trying to think, maybe six months, and it's definitely been a great way to make some passive income. I've actually been selling digital products online since 2015, so I have actually quite a bit of experience in this industry, and so I wanted to talk to you guys, if you're interested in selling online templates for Notion, specifically how to do so from step one to all the way to step seven. So there's seven steps that I've come up with that we're gonna walk through. So step number one is actually creating the template. The first thing that you've gotta do is you have to have an idea for a template. Something that somebody's gonna want, whether it's free or paid, which we'll talk about in step two. So in step one, we're gonna talk about creating the template. So in order to actually create a Notion template, you do have to understand a little bit about Notion, how it works, and how people use the app. You can do anything from a simple checklist or database to a more complex system. I've seen people like Marie Poulin and Thomas Frank selling systems for up to $100. So it has to really figure out exactly what people need it for. How complex and how simple you want it to be should be very clear when you're trying to sell it. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to create basically a duplicate maybe of a board that you already have or something that you've created for yourself. That's probably the easiest way to start is if you've created a template that works for you that isn't based on somebody else's template that's specifically based off of what you've done for yourself, that might be a great place to start. I currently have two sort of uh, systems that I sell. So I have a content creation template as well as a ADHD tracker. Both of these I came up with myself. They both have a lot of things that I hadn't seen on any other templates. And so that's why it was important for me to make it unique and different than a lot of the other ones out there. So making sure that your template is unique and special and has things that aren't available on other templates is really important. So what you're gonna do is, one of the things that I found easiest is I've actually made a separate account on Notion just for my templates. That way it doesn't get mixed in with my own stuff. So I just created another free Notion account and then called it template account. So what you're gonna do is, you know, maybe you can even copy whatever you have from yours over to your template account as a template. Um, if you know how to do that, you just click the duplicate button at the top of the template and then you can, maybe basically make some almost like fake data. So um, points that are not anything specific to you, but more general stuff that you can put in, for example, in a database or whatever, so that it's very generic. That way people can customize it themselves. So make sure to not put anything uh, private or things that you personally have um, in your system. Make sure it's just very general data and that's a really important step. Once you're ready to go, once you feel like this is a good template, one of the things I also think you should add is contact information on the bottom. If for some reason the template doesn't work, people can contact you. That's been very helpful for me in the past. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the share button and then you're going to share it as a template. Um, you're also gonna make sure people can duplicate it. One of the things that is a struggle with Notion templates is that uh, because of the duplicate button, people can take your template, share it with somebody else, and they can also duplicate it. There's just really no getting around that, which I think is kind of annoying, similar with like Canva templates, but you know, having that duplicate option allows you to sell it as a template. Unfortunately, you can't get to that template until you buy it and then you can get that duplicate option. So you're gonna have that link on sites like Gumroad. All you have to do is basically give a link and that is what you're selling, is the link for people to duplicate it. On sites like Etsy and Creative Market, you will have to make some sort of PDF that has the link. So for Etsy specifically, I created a PDF inside of Canva where when they download or buy my products, they can't get a redirect link. So what I do is I embed a uh, clickable link into a PDF and that is how they get access to it. Same with Creative Market. So you do have to have like a physical thing to download in order for you to sell it there. Um, that is step three. I'm gonna be talking about the different platforms, but I just wanted to mention that. So now that you have your template ready to go, let's talk about some of the other steps that need to happen. Step two is decide how much you're gonna charge for your template. So is it gonna be a free template or are you gonna pay for it? Some people might ask, why would I give out a template for free? 
The main reason is to uh, get some traction to your uh, Gumroad account or whatever you're selling, as well as to get email addresses. Email addresses are really important for promoting future things that you're doing. So on Gumroad and places like that, you can actually get people's email addresses, as well as promote another template by having your free template. Maybe on the bottom say, if you enjoy this, maybe go to my website or you know another template that I have, or for me, like I promote my Facebook group when I have a free template. So things like that are a way that you can use free templates. Now, if you're gonna have a paid template, I've seen people charge anywhere from a few dollars up to, like I mentioned, over $100. I would say it really depends on how uh, your system is. For my content creation one, I think it's pretty intense and I only sell it for 15. I think that's a really good deal for what comes with it. And with my ADHD one, I think it's even more intense and I sell it for 30. So for me, I wanted to make it affordable, um, but also where I would actually make something from it um, versus it being like $5. Like I just don't always think that's enough um, for certain templates that you put a lot of time into. But if it's a really simple template, a few dollars is great. All right, so step three, we're talking about selling. So I mentioned a few of these different platforms. Gumroad is probably the biggest one, Etsy, Creative Market. Um, one thing you will have to set up is some sort of payment system. So whether that is a Stripe account or a PayPal account for you to get paid. Stripe to me is the best one. It's the easiest. It syncs right to your bank account. And all you have to do is have an email address um, sending money to your bank account. Um, some other ones, and this is kind of step four, is there are some Notion template uh, you know, sites, and I'm actually gonna link them down below, uh, that where you can actually, they're like Notion marketplaces. So I've actually only just started recently looking into these. Uh, Prototion, I think is what it's called, is one that I, I just joined, and so hopefully I'll be able to sell my template on there as well. So that's a really great option as well, to look for Notion template galleries or places where people sell Notion templates. Okay, so step five, now that you have your template out there in the world, you've written your description, you have some sort of you know, uh, image that can be promote, promoting it, and that's kind of a whole thing that we could talk about at some point in the future, is ways to promote your, uh, your Notion template, but we are gonna talk a little bit about creating content around it. So for people to discover it, you can't just post it on a site and then just expect sales. I mean, sometimes people search for things and they find it, but I would say most of the time you're gonna wanna promote it as well beyond that platform. So a few things that you could do to promote your Notion template is to create content, video content, YouTube videos like this one, TikToks like ones I create all the time on TikTok. Uh, you know, you could create Twitter posts, Facebook posts, Instagram posts, um, LinkedIn posts. Literally, I'm a social media manager full time in my day job, so all I do in my life is create content. So I know there's a ton of different ways, um, but really, you know, thinking about how do you promote it by, you know, walking through a video tutorial on it or other ways that you can share. Um, I really truly believe that YouTube is the best platform for this because. I, you know, I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers um, and it's been a great way to promote my Notion templates. I know people like Thomas Frank, who's got over a million subscribers, is doing literally six figures, seven figures a year selling just Notion templates. It's crazy. So it's a huge market that hasn't really been tapped yet. So it's been really fun. All right, so number six, um, email your list. So once you start building up your email list, which again, you can use a ton of different sites, um, ActiveCampaign, uh, MailChimp is the free one, ConvertKit, uh, I use something called FG Funnels. Uh, there's a ton of different email softwares that you can use. Actually Gumroad, I believe you can also just send emails that way. Having some sort of email software where you can send out marketing emails is really amazing. It really gets people right into your inbox. You, you set up a newsletter a lot of ways to directly sell your template. So if you maybe gather some email addresses, start sending those, make sure you know the rules of email marketing, making sure that there's an unsubscribe button. You can't just send emails from like Gmail, that's not really legal. So make sure that you have some sort of software that you're sending emails. You know, send it however often you want. I would say no more than once a week for Notion stuff. Um, that to me, it seems like even a lot. A couple times a month is a great number. Um, and the last step is to promote in Facebook groups and on Reddit. I found that these are two places that have a really great Notion um, place where a lot of people find Notion templates. So there's a ton of Notion groups. I actually have my free Notion resources below and I list a bunch of Notion Facebook groups as well as if you go to the Notion community tab on their website, ours is listed there as well as a bunch of other Facebook groups for Notion. Or if you just type in Notion on Facebook, you'll find a ton. 
Um, Reddit is also a great platform. I always see people posting on Reddit about Notion. That's actually how a lot of people have found me, my channel, and my Facebook group is through Reddit, which I need to be more active on there. I honestly, like, I, I've sort of, like, looked at Reddit over the years, but it's not something I'm super active with, but I definitely need to be more of. So anyways, I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Make sure I have two templates below, my ADHD life tracker and my content calendar, which to me is my favorite. I actually really like my content calendar template out of both. I'm going to be doing my redoing my ADHD one very soon. So, uh, but my, but my content one to me is like the best template I think I've ever made. It is so like, there's so much in there and there's in it for 15 bucks. It's such a good deal. I just did a video. My last YouTube video was on that and I am going to be creating a video on how to record notion templates because that to me is so important. If you want to start a YouTube channel, making uh, tutorials is super important. So I want to show you guys how I do that a couple different ways. And yeah, so I just hope that this is helpful for you guys and I hope that you guys get to sell a notion templates. Make sure to join my Facebook group. Um, and make sure to just, you know, check out all the stuff I have below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.